Spanish contractor Ferrovial and Germany Energy Company RWE have agreed to work together to develop, construct and operate floating wind farm off the coast of Spain. Ferrovial has submitted expressions of interest in four farms with a total capacity of more than 1.7 gigawatt. This will be located between 11 km and 30 km from the coast of Lugo, Puente Vedra, Girona and Gran Canaria. Gonzalo Nieto, the chief executive of Ferrovial Energy Infrastructure said this agreement represents a further step in our firm commitment to decarbonizing the economy and to renewable energies. At Ferrovial, we clearly see the growth opportunities that this sector offers, which is why we have decided to partner with another market leader, RWE. Sven Jutter Molen, RWE Opsor, Wins Chief Executive, said Spain has been an important core market for RWE to grow our solar and onshore business for many years. Now we are excited to go one step further. Floating offshore wind is key to meeting the increasing demand for renewable power in Europe, delivering sustainability solutions, supporting local industries and creating future-proof jobs. Speaking at a briefing during a story visit by officials and business people from Turkey's wine energy sector, Lopez Daffel explained that SciTech Opsor Technologies and RWE Renewables joined forces to harness Opsor wine energy potential through the DemoSAS project. The testing of the first floating Opsor wind turbine prototype with grid connection in Spain. Construction started at the end of 2020 for the demo SAS project that will use a 2 megawatt turbine which will be assembled in the port of Bilbao in northern Spain. According to the Lopez Tafel, the grid connected floating wind turbine with a 64 meter long base platform and a width of 30 meters is the first in Spain. The platform, including the turbine, will be towed to the BIMEV, the open sea test site in the Basque country, located 3.2 kilometers offshore at a water depth of 85 meters. Hybrid mooring lines anchored to the seabed will hold the unit in position. A 100-man project team from more than 30 companies is developing the project with almost 75% of the construction budget involving local supply chains within 25 kilometers of the construction site. The system has been designed to withstand waves of more than 20 meters high at the offshore location where environmental conditions are very harsh, Lupez Tafel said. The next step from the SciTech Opsor Technologies will be the energy research for Opsor Atlantic project known as Kiroa, which will also be located 16 kilometers off the Basque coast. The project will deploy up to 50 megawatt of floating wind turbines and is expected to be the first Opsor wind farm in Spain, with the main objective of paving the way for upcoming commercial offshore and development in the region. SciTech Offshore Technologies is also involved in the launch of CADIMO floating offshore wind project of the Santa Barbara country coast in California. The project has the potential to generate up to 60 megawatt of renewable energy, which will be enough to supply over 21,500 homes when it becomes operational at the latest in 2025. The 
study visit of Turkish officials and business people was organized as part of the best for energy, boosting effective and sustainable transforming for energy project supported by the European Commission and within the scope of the competitive sector program of Turkey's Ministry of Industry and Technology. ISMAR Development Agency, along with the Association of Energy Industrialists and Businessmen in ISMAR, Turkey's wine capital, started the project in the third quarter of last year to promote green energy growth through environmental-focused, sustainable economic development goals. The development of floating wind opens a window of opportunity for Spain allowing it to take advantage of locations away from the coast with excellent wind resources acting as a tractor of the economy through key sectors such as naval or civil. It is an energy and industrial opportunity, so Spain would seize this through the reconciliation of all interest linked to maritime activities. Spain is a benchmark in onshore wind. Floating offshore wind is at a key point in its development in Spain. Of the 27 floating wind turbine prototypes now in operation worldwide, seven are Spanish. Experts believe that one of the key territories for driving these technologies is the Canary Island due to its uniqueness. The high energy generation cost in the archipelago allow offshore wind to be competitive. The impact on the natural marine environment will also have to be taken into account, always with a long-term vision in mind and seeking the lowest impact possible. Thanks for watching this video till the end and do subscribe to the channel to get the latest update on construction videos around the world.